Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. As you can see, the four jacks are set up in each corner and the floor is lifted off the truck. And that means it's time to finish up the welding on the front and flip the floor over and finish welding the bottom. This is the first time driving the truck out from under the floor and I have no idea how much higher the floor needs to be to clear the truck bed. There shouldn't be anything to get caught on as long as I can go in a straight line. That was a little closer than I was expecting. Ah, freedom. Now that the truck is out of the way, I can get at what I need to weld on the front mounting points. If you missed the episode where I made the heavy duty mounts, go back and check it out. These are half inch thick aluminum and will capture a pin that's secured to the front of the subframe. Now that I've got the tabs welded on the front, it's time to back the truck underneath, which could prove to be a little bit tricky as this will be the first time. Take the legs off, take it outside, grab a couple friends and flip the floor over. Although the floor isn't that heavy, it's a little too large for me to remove and flip by myself. Thankfully, I know a few people who are always ready and willing to help. Less than 30 seconds to get that part of the job done. Well, as you can see, it is now flipped over, ready for me to finish the welding on the bottom. Thanks very much to my fire family for coming down and helping me flip this over in a couple of minutes. So when I flipped it over, I also took a minute to remove all of the welds that had been on the surface across the back. And I've also done a little bit of a back chip there to give me a groove to do the final weld across the back while I'm welding the bottom side of these tie down lugs. And then I have the same thing up at the front. I've gouged across there and I've got a little bit of welding to do with the front tabs. But before we get to that, I've got a really cool story to share with you. You may remember way back in the early days, I was actually working on another Fuso FG, which I sold. It was a sad day watching this truck leave after I had put so much effort into it, but I was hopeful that one day I would see it again transformed into an overlanding work of art. Where did this come from? Unfortunately, this was just a very short visit. They happened to be passing through and wanted to say hi, and it was really inspirational. I'm really glad that they did stop by because it allows me to see the direction that I'm going. I didn't get any interior shots of the amazing job that he's done putting this together, but don't worry, I'm sure this is not the last time that these two trucks will be together, and we'll get some footage for you next time. Is that not super cool? That is what I want to have happen with this. I want to get this fully built into a professional looking overland vehicle. Phenomenal job. Now, let's get back to the welding.
Welding these rear tabs is going to put quite a bit of heat into the aluminum and there is a significant risk of more warping happening. So I have once again put blocks and clamps in place to tension the frame in the opposite direction. The inside edges are a very difficult place to access with the welding torch, the filler rod, and to actually see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm having some difficulty. Just finding a spot to see what I'm doing is near impossible, and I'm somewhat relying on sound instead of sight on these welds. is that I won't actually be able to get all the way into the corner, there just isn't room. If I was MIG welding, it would be much easier. Now that I've got these two mounting lugs fully welded, all I have left to do is go across the seam on the back between the pan and the box tube. I've got to do the same thing on the front, and then there's a couple spots with the mounting lugs on the front that I've got to hit. That's all I've got for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a thumbs up, throw a comment down below. If you've got any questions, give us a like, share the video. Don't forget to check the description for any of the useful links. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Eyes. <laughs>